about them coming you know, to me, Captain with John Ivory Sita, he could go find Coy City Ava. Bring it to me. A queer Baba woke it, Adam of a while, Bonson. Walk and I'm the dinner needle, Eddie Dinen, Pantania, Eddie Dinen, and Mem Kamaba in just Christ. What are you going to bring in? Otto Mika Gospel John, Ivory City Ta, find Coy City Ava. And you can do a bassy, Okobi Corbassy. Some of me did you call a bassy? Emerson, Mufiko, I mean, about any question on you. A real bum going you know to care. A bang with John, Iboresiba, a fine course here, or edible you suck it. A dear gum of a few date, and yet the dinner. A few uncoiter, Eddie and Yoko Bon Book will work in them dead in a needle. Amen. I said you only are requesting on you. Our first Bible lesson is regarded in the first episode general of John, chapter 3, verse 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our second Bible lesson is called from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 8, verse 47. He that is of God heareth God's words. He therefore hear them not, because they are not of God, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Our golden text is taken from the first epistle of Paul the Apostle to John. First John chapter three, chapter two, verse twenty-nine. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, it won't be an intention to drag you too further, but the one we are going to give to you is just a scratch that serves as a reminder. I am one free. I am one me. I am one of free. He will come. He shall assist you, shall assist me, he shall assist the entire world if they would listen to this word of God. We talk with them, just speak, mama. The children of the flesh are born and the children of the spirits are born. We talk with them, mommy, and to them, we talk with them. Satan, and in your way, God. The children of God are them that are begotten of God, while the children of the flesh are being born by Satan, the Lucifer, and they and therefore they are generations of viper. <laughs> This explains why I beforehand informed you that this gospel will help you a great deal because the children of the flesh, the children of the world, they give recommendation to ghosts, mermaid, apparition, fetish, an idol, and the rest of other evil things. That's why they advise people to consult the necromancers, to assist, take away their problems, and to go sacrifice to the fetish that their problems be over. 
They also advise, recommend uh, mermaid, they also recommend ghosts and the rest of other principal uh, forces of darkness and their tendencies. These are the children of the flesh. These are them that are descendants of Lucifer. And that is why they go about concocting, sacrificing to the fetish, and also pledging, necromancing. Once you see them, they are all children of Satan. They do nothing better than what they say because they are the children of the flesh. For this reason, they do not hear the word of God. They cannot assimilate it. They are not even ready to put them into practice because in the first place, it has never penetrated into their eardrums. Because Judas is this explains why when after he washed the feet of his 12 disciples he then declared to them that ye are pure but not all are cleansed because he knew that among them is Judas Iscariot which of course is from the skion of Lucifer. Nobody, Nobody teaches any man how to steal. Nobody teaches any man the way to tell lies. Nobody teaches any man prostitution and how to commit wickedness or be evil in nature because these things can never be tutored from anywhere or by any man. They are all inborn. These are the things that are transparent from the word go. And that is why these things are indeed a part and parcel of them because they are the children of Lucifer right from the word go. Amen. Amen. The, the children of God hear the word of God because they are born of their father God. This is the reason why this advice is very important in every man's life that if you want to be a man of God, strive hard and be to the later. Put in all your best and let everybody see the reflection of godliness exhibiting in you and telling rightly in you. And if you want to be a man of, a man of a woe or Satan, continue being it. This shows your act of unjust and already defiled. But the unknown advice that is given to every man is that no believer should get involved with the unbeliever. You must not woe from the family of an unbeliever any wife for as a partner. Otherwise, you are doomed. You will get yourself to blame at the end of the day because any woman that has emanates from the family of woe, of Lucifer. The seeds are indeed Lucifer. There is nothing good that can come out of such womb. Once you beget any child from that woman, they all breed, you breed, you are breeding by power throughout. And they will go about portraying an image of Lucifer. 
But if you want it to be good with you, you are also advised to pursue the family that are believers. If you look for any woman as a better half, go and ask a hand from that family that is godly. Because every child from the womb of a person that emanates from a godly family, the seeds are also godly. They are all children of God. And they all at all times will walk righteousness. Then Isaac, and this is the reason why Abraham, his wife Sarah, happened to be his first cousin that is from the same paternal family with him. They are first cousins. That's why when he decided to marry, he decided to pick one out of that family and she was Sarah. And that's why a child of promise came out of her womb. And you can recall at the time when Abraham was old and was to answer to the call of nature, he saw he had the foresight and decided to sit somewhere and send a message that they should still go to that same family of his and look for a woman for his son, Isaac. And there came Rebekah from the same family. And you can see these are the family of God. Good things do emanate from those families. And in the days of Isaac, when he saw that he was almost answering to the nature of God, his time was up to go, he also sent forth a message that his son should also marry from his same family. Therefore, you can see it was a replay of this attitude. And you can see that in those days, the Israelites can never marry from any other creed or tribe. It becomes a taboo, and they had it as a law. For anybody to marry outside his family was indeed lawful. And that's why they all follow suit the footstep of their father Abraham. And it did work for them, and their seeds were godly. And that's why any man that desires from that godly family, things good will come out, for they hear the word of God, and they are children of promise. They will do those things that are good. But this time around, you can see the difference is the case. You can see the reason why the entire world have been overtaken by Lucifer. Because today that the entire world is so corrupt, so polluted, defiled by descendants of viper, is as a result of people who would not recognize and follow suit the exemplary life of our father, forefather and marry from the godly family. They extend to other families for this reason, they hit on the rock and meet with their doom. So, yeah. I will not take you further than this. Let our first lesson read. Christ. A first Bible lesson was drawn from the first epistle general of John, chapter 3, verse 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. 
He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The realm here is that the lesson from there you will derive your lesson and uh, go home with that he that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous. The children of God are born of God. They hear the word of God. They do not commit evil. They do not walk abomination. They do not hate. They do not tell lies. They do not consult oracle. They do not sacrifice to the fetish. They do not visit the soothsayers nor do anything evil. Whatever is the circumstance and under any condition, they can never deviate from doing that which is good and doing the word of God. Even if they be slaughtered, they don't mind allowing themselves be slaughtered for the sake of righteousness. For all their life, they pledge to do that which is good. That's the thing. About saying you right. I'm Brethren, the children of God, as we are told you, never are given to evil. Tendencies are not shaken in faith. They do not medicate under any trial or provocation. They do not give in to anything evil. But the children of Satan are the children of this world. Are the children of flesh, they are them that are all over the world and they have polluted this world. But one thing, they are so pretty, you find them very handsome. They are very pretty. The sight of them, if you are not spiritual, you will give in. Because they are very pretty, but they are them defiling this earth. They are, have polluted this world. They are liars, they are fornicators, they are idolaters. They do necromancing, sacrifice to fetish, they steal, they kill and do all sorts of things. They are the children of woe, children of abomination. They, are, they do not listen to the word of God, they don't hear, they don't, and they are not ready to give in to the word of God or act of godliness. Every time of their life is satanic, and that's why they hate. They tell lies, they quarrel, evil communication proceeds out of their mouth, and they entice other people to drink from their act of fornication. They seduce, they lure people on into their coffer. Can you now recall what happened to a brother Solomon 
who for getting involved with that queen and what happened at the end of it, she was a queen of Mamed, a queen of Satan, and that's why when Solomon got infatuated with her beauty and got involved in love affair with her and even engaged in marital affair with her, that because of her beauty, Solomon was so carried away and his head became spoiled up. And that's why when she demanded that Solomon should build a house for her, a fetish, Solomon immediately consented and went on to build a house for her idol. And he did not only end at building that house. Because of that love, she seduced him into worshipping those idols and sacrificing to them. And Solomon did the same thing. You can see he was able to yield to her request because of that lucific tendency operating between them. And that's why you can see that anybody that comes from such family, there is nothing good that can come out of that person. And that's why in the scripture, they are warned and said, ye generation of viper, how can ye ever speak that which is good? Because from the evil that is in your hearts, cometh out evil. And whoever is of evil, the fruit of evil will ever sprout out of him. For the people who are good from their good treasure speaks out good things. But these evil people, no good communication can even pro ever proceed out of their mouth. At all times, they are pronouncing a will be tied. They are calling people stupid and rabbi and things like that. And they are ever seeing how things evil will happen. They are so negative. They become aged and all times, since they are not confident in themselves, they are never confident in any person. They pledge war and ever advising that people go consult oracle because outside helping yourself, heavens can never help you. That's why we are today warned that any child of God which walketh righteousness is righteous because in the first place is of God. But the children of this flesh are devilish in their nature because of their father Lucifer, which has used that seed to bear them. Amen. The, the children of God hear the word of God because they are of God. Because for God being their father, they obey him, they reverence him, they succumb to him and abide by his injunction and practice all his word because they are of God. They reference and tremble at his sight and at all times the many ones they hear the word of God, they are subdued by the word of God. But the children of Satan don't ever hear the word of God. They can't practice the word of God. They don't fear God. They don't tremble at his sight. Therefore, watch out and see that mark of difference. The difference ever is clear because the children of God are distinctive. They do not tell lies, they do not hate, they do not deceive, they do not cheat, they do not kill, they do not fight, they do not quarrel, they do not scramble, they do not bother themselves, they do not suffer any other person unto humiliation. At all times, they tell the truth, they love everybody, they admire God's work, they are simple, they are meek, they are mild, they are peaceful, they are obedient, and at any time you see such great of persons, those qualities that 
ever tell in them, these are them that are the children of God, and by their fruit you will know them. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. So we pray for you. Nobody, no one teaches a child of God to know God and the ways of God and how to practice the word of God. It is inborn. Nobody can teach them how to save God. It is inborn in them. Because right from the word go, it is an hereditary that the one that is gotten of God from the family of God knows God. He saves God and he listens to God. And therefore it becomes an inborn. The children of God are not made, but they are born like that, naturally. Children of God, a child of God. And the final that at all times he does that which is good. Wherever he goes, the reflection is there. That mark of identity is there. You cannot deceive them. You cannot will them from doing from good to evil. You cannot toy with their personality, their godly personality. You cannot deceive them at all times they speak the word of God and know that which, is, that which is good. That's why we say, when you see a child of God, you know them by their actions. You do not need any extra strength to identify who is a child of God, no matter how small that child is. No matter how big the person is, a child of God, the nature of God reflects on that person because he does not steal, he's not hungry, does not hate, does not tell lies, does not consult oracle, he does not visit the juju priest, has nothing to do with necromancing, he's not diablica, and he goes about doing the word of God. That's why. You are now warned right from now to watch out. All the churches that are everywhere, they are filled with nothing because the Lucific tendency completely has overtaken and is operating right amidst them. Though they are going to church and you hear them pledge the word of God and claim that they are communicants, they even will sever your head while they are carrying their Bible. And they do all sorts of things. That's why, watch out and see, since they are not of God, that's why the Lucific spirit has indeed operated so much and eaten deep into their facets of life. But the children of God, they are all naturally children of God, and watch out, you will ever see and recognize them in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. If a child of God was not born naturally, a child of God right from birth, and the seed of godliness 
being found in his tissues, then it would have been difficult for one to identify, while it would have been easy for Satan to overtake and then convince the entire world about his seed and his nature, because he would have been able to convert them and will bend them unto himself. But because a child of God naturally is born with that godly seed that sprout out of him, that's why no matter under any circumstance, you will see and identify a child of God because he's never shaken in anything. He is not afraid of anything. He does not fear anything. He's being polite and he's so bold. And the prowess of God indeed is in him. He's so confident of himself. Anywhere he goes out, he speaks the word of God boldly. And that's why Satan can never get him wheeled or bent from godly ways onto unrighteous nature. And that's why no matter the amount of people or the age of that person, he is not thought of a child of, of, of God. You cannot teach, you cannot uh, make that uh, person to be godly. But right at every time, being a child in nature, naturally, and that's why at all times, he goes out preaching the word of God, exhibiting the seed of righteousness and putting into practice every word of God and observing them, keep them to the end. In, that is why you will find out that wherever they go, they do not have any problem in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. The contents of my mind. The cousin, the family, the cousin, 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 and if they abide any child of peace, peace will endure with them. But when he salute peace, if there is no child of God abiding in such home, as peace will not abide, and when ye go out, shake off the dust from your feet, and go thy way, for it will not be toler tolerable unto them. It will not be tolerable, for it will even be better with the Sodom and Gomorrah than that kind of city that has not received the peace of God. So, I to tell you, I am from Kaya, 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 I am from I am from Kaya, I am from Kaya, I am from Kaya, I am from Therefore, brethren, let our second lesson be reviewed because this is no time to get on protracting gospels or preach men. Because already you have heard the word of God enough and you have been so nurtured. The word of God such as this is not a strange thing unto you. So that right from now on you should be on a watch out that anywhere you go, in any house that you enter, in any community that you get in, by what you find there, you can know that that child, that house, is a peaceful house. And that family is a godly family. Because a child of God, that hears the word of God, that is gotten of God, he is so humble, once he sees you, re reference you, respects you, speaks the word that are good, he blesses, he tolerates, he's kind, he's gentle, he is very accommodating, he's very understanding, he listens to you, and 
at all times he blazes with the word of God. But once you get into a house that has no trace of God and the word of God is lacking because there is no peace abiding, thus becoming a lucific family, you find that they are so boastful, they are so arrogant, they are so pompous, they are so insulting, you find them uttering war, evil communication proceed out of their mouth, they speak guile, and in them a vile person is contempt. And that's why you will right from now identify these two families and you will know how to praise in their midst. Let a second lesson be reviewed. Second Bible lesson was taken from the Gospel according to St. John chapter 8, verse 47. He that is of God heareth God's words. He therefore hear them not, because he are not of God. Peace of Lord Jesus Christ. The Ren, have you heard the reading of that? Amen. Brother, have you seen the reason why the people of the world they refuse to listen to you when you go preaching to them. They cast suspicion the way that you impart to them. They just send you packing with a wave of their back hand. Go ye with your word of God, we are not willing. This is true, that they are of Lucifer to assimilate them. Now the question that you may know, that these are them which do not hear nor practice the word of God. Does the government hear the word of God? Does the millionaire hear the word of God? Do the presidents hear the word of God or the governors? Do the ministers hear the word of God? That is why you find them engaging in states of euphoria, confusion, stalemates. That's why you hear them raising clubs, machets, weapons, guns, and uh, grenades bombs and the rest of nuclear weapons against one another. They fight, they struggle, they loot, they spoil people's goods, they engage in malicious damages, ever is jungle judgments. Because they do not hear the word of God, they are of Satan. And right from the beginning they are deceivers because their father, their father is Satan and he had lived a deceitful person. That's why you can never see anything good come out of them. They ever engage in war as self. But the children of God hear the word of God. They are peaceful. They do not fight. They do not make war. They don't make a lie. They don't walk on righteousness. They are so peaceful in all aspects of their life because they are the seeds of God. So it it but right from the word go, the word of God is meant for the children of God. And the children of God imbibe the word of God. And the word of God dwells richly in them. They are found in the circle of God. And that's why all words that come from God become their bread of life. For this reason, God, the maker of this word, and at all times when he's concluding his sermons, he then declares, let he who has ear hear. 
what God speaks to the churches. And who are those that have ears aside the children of God? The children of God alone have the ears to hear the word of God. And that's why every member of their body is found with the word. They are tuned to the word of God. But the children of Lucifer do not hear the word of God. They are satanic in nature. No matter what you do to change their mind from evil onto the hearing of the word of God is a waste of venture, means and gains. You cannot convince them. They have developed thick skin. They are so hard-hearted. They are hardened in all aspects of their life. You can do nothing to convert them. They are not penitent. No act of penitentiary that is found in them. That's why every time you hear them uttering woe, it is all evil. Already they have cultivated that seed of evil in them. And there's nothing you can do to take that away. But that is how you can hear, see, who the, those ones that are children of God and the children of evil is by their action, by their ways, by their utterances, by their nature, you can identify them. That's why you are told the set of people, they are, are the children of God. Even if a child of God is like a place as 26 Mbopa, and you stay here to impart the word of God without physically being here. Because of that godly nature, the word of God penetrates. It will pass through the air and all other creatures and give to him and he will receive the message. And he will tell you exactly what the text had been. This is because they are godly in nature and every member of their body attunes to the word of God and at all times he speaks the word of God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs>
Dialogue, Just to go in line with his attitude. But for Levi and Simeon, he had, with all anger, said, Because you had promoted, you had promoted cruelty and had done that which brought tears unto men, being instrument of cruelty uh, in their inhabitation. He then shouted, O oh my soul, come not thou into their secret, unto the assembly he will not not even his honor be not thou united for in their anger they slew a man and in their self-will they digged down a wall for that reason cause be their anger for it was faith and their wrath for it is cruel i will divide them in jacob and scatter them into israel brethren you can see a child of god does not have anything to do with evil. He does not speak evil. He does not place evil. He has nothing to do with evil. 
At all times, since he emanates from that God family, he speaks the word of God and does the word of God, practice the word of God. And that's why God himself said, and by their fruits ye shall know them. Because the children of Satan, they are cruel, they fornicate, they tell lies, they do all sorts of things that are evil. Nothing good can ever come out of them. That's why right from now you have heard what the scripture told us, that he that is of God hear God's word. He are not of God, therefore he hear them not. A child of God hears the word of God and practices the word of God. He speaks the word of God. He references God. He has fears for God. But a child of Satan cannot hear the word of God, cannot speak the word of God. He's not ready to do the word of God. And that is why their heart is so darkened, the heart is so hardened, and you can see their ears, nose, mouth, heart, mind, this thought has already been put in there and get it tightened so that they hear the word of God, they cannot speak the word of God. And by their fruit too, you can know them because at all times they speak evil words, they hear evil. They walk on righteousness and their mind perceives evil. Their ears always are listening to evil words. They cannot go in for peace settlement. Therefore, nothing good can come out of them. And then you can hear, by this course of Jacob unto Levi and Simeon, the people that you see right now that raise up sword, they are the descendants of Simeon and Levi. And that is why if you meet anybody who emanates from this tribe, they are so bloody, they are so cruel, they are so brutal, they are cannibals, so cannibalistic in nature, they eat, slaughter human beings and use as their meat. They are so bloodthirsty and they drink blood. And that's why you can stay with this group of persons even though you are good to them, you are charitable to them, and you can prepare dish and put on the table, both of you eat. As he is eating, he is still planning to slay you. By the time you know, he is raising heels against you. This is because they emanate from that brutal, that cruel family, and nothing good can come out of them. No matter how good you are, to that family of Levi and Simeon. His tongue is so sharp, it's even sharper than knife. Before you know, at all times he sees witches, he sees men, he sees the idols, he sees all things that are evil. He's so negative in his thoughts, mind, ideas, ears, and utterances. And all times he tells you that things are so good, he pledges evil. He, by his nature, he feels he's being meticulous, whereas it is that evil thing that is all filled his mind, that cannot allow him to relax and become settled in his mind. He becomes ages, aged, and he, at all times, he trembles at any sight of any ant. Therefore, brethren, by this you will know that right from the word go, they are evil, they are satanic, they are lucific. But so that the scripture will continue to speak the truth and will not make a lie. Let us take a review of our golden text. I want you to listen with rapt attention and be very mindful of this gospel so that at all times you will not you will not err by your mixture with them. <laughs> A fine boy said of you, so kid. A dear gum for a few days, sir, and yet, dear dinner, a young boy, sir, a dear and your cobble, and cook low war, a can I'm dead in an idle. A dog is up. Amen. Our golden text was extracted from the first general epistle of John, chapter 2, verse 29. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
trabajo. Ma ho un utile che le dice, è che fin da quando è co, è che mi sponso, in yakes, in ampunsi, in un cammel, in suavo, in toco, 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 in He is righteous. Ye you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. There are no two ways about it. Therefore, if you see anyone who is of God and walketh righteousness, do not ask questions, because by his fruit, by the things he do, he becomes convinced that he is born of he that is righteous. But once you see any seed of Satan, you will find out that He always there to tell a lie. He's a drunk. He foments trouble. He a warmonger. He tells lies. He fornicates. He eats meat and fish and does all, commits all confusion. He's a confusionist because he does not hear the word of God. It's not of God. And no trace of righteousness is found in him. And this is why he continues to tell you, those who have the ears, let them hear. Because the ones that have the ears to hear are really the children of God. And you don't need to ask questions when you see them. Sonso, bem era tudo bem de por mim. Sonso, olha aí, vou para mim. Ele disse naquele colo, ele me ia um que é bem que ele disse. Se a gente ele ia na base. Bem, have you heard the lyrics of that song that says, "My greatest joy is that God is the custodian of key. Therefore, no matter what Satan may do, Satan get informed that a father is the custodian of key. Therefore, you can see." A child of God does not tell a lie, he does not swindle, he does not embezzle, he does not steal, he does not engage in stalemate, he is not a Confucianist, he has no cause to deviate from the truth. He is very upright and steadfast by the words of his father. And no matter what you do, no matter under any circumstance, he is not willing to get changed from his godly nature. He cannot touch anything pin. He cannot embezzle anything, any money, any funds. If you like spread your money there, donkey years come back to get them the way they were. For he has nothing to do with them. But a child of Satan, the Lucifer person, he cries, oh, for this reason, I am not able to continue with the word of God because somebody has betrothed my wife. Oh, my husband has been snatched away from me. He's a big man. That person is satanic. He was not willing to do the word of God, but to listen to the word of God. That seed of righteousness has not been sown in him. Sometimes he tells you, I could not attend service because my trousers is tattered, is torn, and I haven't got the money to go and touch it. Can you not see that I haven't got any good thing to wear? Who tells you? It's because nature has played a good part in him. That's why he is mainly telling a lie. These are them that are thieves. They are warmongers. They are robbers. These are them that engage in stalemate, confusion. And he could not do it because he's not been identified with God. These are them that do not hear. The seed of righteousness is not sown in them for righteousness' sake. 
And that is why. Creating confusion. And that warning is that since the father is the custodian of the key, relax. For Satan is only striving in vain. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, I know all of you one by one, and I know your hard desires, I know your nature, I know what stuff you are made of, nobody can tell me. It's my desire to impart this manner of word so it might assist you and also serve as a highlight that you may be able to be upright and to identify those who are the ch real children of God and the real children of Satan. In the evening, I will give a different pattern that is similar in form so that you will continue to know. And this myself as a reminder so that you will get to know that the judgment is at hand. You would wish, many of you wish to be with me, to stay with me till eternity. That's why I just my laugh to scorn because your body is flexible enough to take a dance. But since your back is so stiffened, it makes you uneasy for you. What about this identity? Are you, have you gotten the ears to hear the word of God? Have you the mouth to speak the word of God? Now that your wish is that you may be with me, do you have this matter of identity? Do you possess the qualification? That's why the children of Lucifer, they are ever there for their confusion. They cannot speak the word of God. There is trouble, confusion. There is this guy. And no matter what you do, they cannot be changed. And there you can see why I keep on telling you that those who are the children of God will ever have life everlasting. Because no matter what you do to any person who is a, a Satan incarnate or by nature, he can never appreciate, he will never see it. At all times, the mouth speaks evil, the ears he listens to evil, his mind perceives evil. And that's why you see many people go about confusing. They are chairman, they are this and that bishop and the rest of others. But what about that seed that is in them? I know them, know every person. And I know them who are ready to absorb the word, put them into practice. Whether you are here for donkey years and continue to parade this hall 
Every second in your life you are found in the great hall, spreading your carpet. It's a waste of time. By the time he gets there, he draws his sword and he slain somebody to show you that parading here is in vain. He's pretending. He does not hear the word of God. Because he has already told you that at the end of the times, those that are mine will be known, those that are not mine will be known by that which he gave us a proverb, that that which is not planted by me will indeed be uprooted, that whatever is planted by me shall endure for eternity. That your parody here does not mean you are a member in one body with Christ, but that the real children of God, they hear the word of God, they put them into practice. But those who are not the real children of God, they do not hear, talk less, putting them into practice. Brethren, I will not relent in giving you this gospel because I know each and every one of you. Whatever name you call yourself is immaterial. But that which is planted in you and as you ooze them out, they identify you as a child of God and they also identify you as a child of Satan in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Chairman, you go over us. President, you go over us. Prophet, you go over us. Here I look at me, and you will me. Oh, can none in any door? Who can hear me? Tommy could be out of us. You only call us here. Amen. Amen. I bring the the final. Someone given to us by the Holy Spirit says, through your inspiration or out of aspiration, you would wish to be a man of God. You would wish to answer that name, a man of God. Therefore, brethren, have you heard that? So that you may conclude within you and get resolved that a chairman is not a man of God. He does not hear the word of God. A president does not hear the word of God and then is not a man of God. And a prophet is not, does not hear the word of God and is not a man of God. All those are just nicknames. They are commercial names. But the in thing to hear the word of God and practice the word of God is not their watch word. And therefore, whether you are a child of God and not willing to be a real child of God, you are not a child of God. Whatever you call yourself is immaterial. But them that hear the word of God and practice the word of God are the real children of God. And they are them that shall inherit the kingdom and have life everlasting. Therefore, brethren, that I may not be too wordy, I will not be too tedious. For a stroke of the cane is enough to teach the wise. He who has ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May God bless his holy words. Amen.